Welcome back to another gear review. Today we're looking at the Finger Ballet folded piano. And in my opinion, I think this is one of the best folding pianos I have come across. So we're gonna talk about some of the features of this today. If you're a busy pianist, if you travel a lot, if you're struggling to find time to practice because of your work schedule, your school schedule, then you maybe wanna look into getting one of the Finger Ballet Pianos electric keyboard because of the compatibility of how well it travels and when it folds. To jump into some of the features, when it folds, it's about 25 inches long and it weighs about 12 pounds. I believe the manual says it's about 12.5 pounds. So it is super light, super convenient. And let me show you some of the things that it comes with. So it comes with a USB-C charging cable because that's how you charge it. It comes with a nice cube charging adapter. So you can charge it and get up to about four to five hours of a life out of it when it's fully charged. So that means if you only practice for like 20, 30 minutes a day and it's fully charged, you could have it for days without needing to charge it again once it's fully charged. So this is super cool. It comes with a nice clip. So if you're working with music, you can clip that. It comes with some headphones as well, right? and it comes with a headphone jack in the back so you can plug that in and practice in quiet if you're in an environment where you don't want to disturb anyone. And it comes with a music stand. So again, you could just connect your stand, boom, just like that. And now you can put your sheet music there and practice. And lastly, it comes with your travel bag. So you fold it up, put it in the bag, put all your accessories in the side compartment, throw it across your shoulder and you're ready to roll out. Super convenient, right? Now the manual is also very easy to understand. It's only four pages. That covers everything you need to know about the Finger Ballet folding piano. Now, they also have a, a 61 key. This is the 88 key. So if you're even looking for something a little bit smaller, they have a 61 key and I'm gonna to link to those in the description down below. You can pull that up on Amazon. And I just also wanna mention, this is actually a promotion for the Finger Ballet uh, Electric Piano. So this is a promotion that I am being paid to do, but I'm also gonna give you my honest opinion about what I think about the board. One of the things I really like about the Finger Ballet Piano is the action. The bounce back of the keys is super quick, so it makes it easier to play. And I can't say the same for a lot of low budget uh, keyboards in terms of pricing, right? Once you start to look at price keyboards under $200, dexterity and the way the key bounce back, the quality drops significantly. I was actually surprised playing this, the level of control I have over the keys simply because the action is so good. Right, my arpeggios, my scales. You might say, Warren, you just have good technique, but really it's because the keys are well designed so I'm, I don't have to fumble. I have a lot of control and nuance that I usually do on the more expensive keyboards. So to me, this is a plus. I was very, very impressed that the keyboard has this level of just, you know, cool action, nice bass. So if I'm being honest, if I were to go to a cabin in the woods for a week and I need a keyboard that is easy to travel with, I would totally rock with this because I could learn everything I need to and still feel like I'm playing a nice keyboard, right? And the sound quality is pretty solid as well. Now let's talk about some of the features on the back of the keyboard. We pull up the manual here and it comes with a sustain pedal, right? So that's the beauty about the finger ballet is that it comes with all the necessary accessories that you would need so you don't then have to go buy these things separately. It comes with a sustain pedal input. It comes with also an MP3 input. So if you wanna play music through your keyboard, you can connect an MP3 uh, cable and you can do that. It also comes with a microphone. So if you have a microphone that you wanna to connect to your keyboard, like if you play and sing, you can do that as well because it comes with built-in speakers. Now, because I'm recording, 
I'm routing my audio to my computer, so I'm not using the built-in speaker, so you can get a better quality of what the piano sounds like. But just know that it comes with built-in speakers, and then it comes with the USB-C port that you use for charging. So those are the connection ports at the back. And then on the front panel, you'll see a tone button, a demo button, a record and playback button, and a metronome button. And then all the other features are done through second functions using the knob right here or to long and press the keys. Now again, the manual goes in detail how all of those feature work, but I'm gonna cover a few with you today that I find very cool. So this one right here is the volume knob. You know, it's very obvious. Uh, you turn to the left, which says minus, and you know, the volume of the keyboard goes down. You turn to the right, volume. So that's pretty straightforward. And then you have a start and stop function right here. So if I were to press the demo, comes with demo songs. And we can stop that. So quick press stops it and press to start. It comes with about 127 demo songs, so quite a lot. Now, it also comes with 127 different tones. So right now you're hearing the piano, which is the acoustic piano. But if you press tone and then use the knob to turn left or right, you can access the other 126 tones. So I like the roads. They have a nice roads here, which I think is like the fourth one down. It's a very nice roads. Right? I really like that road. Then you can go through and find the sound that you like the best. But that's how you can access the different tone bank. Now, if you also, it has a metronome. So, as you know, I'm a big advocate of practicing everything to a metronome or to a drum beat, whichever works for you. And the beauty about this is that it comes with both. So if I, right here where it says metronome, if I press that, I get a standard just click track. If I press it again, now I get a two click. One, two, one, two, one, two. Press it again, I get three. Two, three, two, three. And if I press it again, I get four, four. One, one. And if I press it again, it stops. Now you might say, how do I control the volume of the metronome? You press the metronome button, and then you are going to long press, and you see where you're gonna see changes to tempo. Once you see the tempo comes up, you press it again, and then you're gonna see it blinks a little so you know that now you're accessing the tempo bank. And here I can slow down the metronome by just turning the dial knob, and I can speed up the metronome by turning the dial knob. So you find that when you long press this on top of that dial tone, it opens up the second function bank where you can access stuff like the tempo, the pitch, you can split the keyboard and a lot of different stuff. And again, manual really do a great job outlining all of that cool stuff. So let's talk about the record function. A big part of improving your own playing as a pianist is recording and listening back to yourself, right? So instead of having to fiddle with your phone to record yourself, you can do it right from the keyboard. And the way to do that, you press the button that says record, you're gonna long press. So you long press hold, and then on the LED screen, you're gonna see where it says record on. So that means anything I play from here is gonna be recorded. And then I 
press play by hitting the record button. So that's how you can easily record yourself and then listen it back, right? Listen back to it. It's a cool feature that you should totally be utilizing if you're not doing so already. Let's take a look now at also the, the split functionality. And what the split functionality does, it allows two people to be able to play the keyboard. It basically duplicates here to here. And the way you access the split functionality is that we long press again. So I'm just gonna press on here and it's gonna open up the second function bank. I'm on tempo, but I need to get to split. So all I do, I just turn my knob, pitch, split. Now it shows that split is off. So if I press, now split is activated, and then I turn to the right, and now split is on. And so if you listen, right? Now the keyboard starts back over at middle C. So you find that this C and this C is the same. So one person can be playing here and the other person can be playing here. Right? So one person can be up here. And the other person can be down here. So it's a cool feature to have two people be able to sit and play the keyboard. And just to break grace over a few other of the features, it has a chord function accompaniment feature. It has some learn feature. Um, you can turn on and off the sustain pedal. You can also access a drum kit. So if you want to play drums on a keyboard, you can do that. Another cool feature is that this keyboard has Bluetooth functionality. And once you turn on the Bluetooth functionality, you can connect, connect to programs like GarageBand or the Pope Piano Connection, right? With an Android or iPhone, you can connect that. And this is, all of this stuff is outlined here on that page. And on the last page, you can look at all the different tones so you know exactly where they are. And you can also look at the different rhythm tables. So there's 127 different rhythms and 127 different tones. And that's it for the electric piano from Finger Ballet. Very cool piano. Again, I would highly recommend if you're a busy individual that travels a lot and you can't find time to practice because you don't have an instrument, you should definitely look into picking up one of these, either the 88 key or the 61 keys, and links to both of those are in the description down below. This works great not only just for people who are busy and travel a lot, but if you're tight, if you live in a small apartment and you don't want to utilize space to house a keyboard, then you probably want something that is, you can just fold up and tuck it away or something that's light enough that you can travel from room to room and utilize it, right? So definitely check that out, link in the description. All right, and if you find this helpful, please give me a like, subscribe, and so that you can be notified when I post more gear reviews talking about different low budget keyboards. Keyboards great for beginners, keyboards great for traveling pianists, and so on. And if you wanna even take your playing further, your gospel piano playing, playing by ear, then you definitely wanna check out the playlists. We have over 600 videos ranging from beginner to advanced, everything playing by ear, everything gospel piano, all right? So until then, have a blessed week and we'll talk soon.